Development is a long-term process. It takes many years, even decades, for a country to reach a higher level of development. So, as to significantly raise living standards and subsequently eradicate poverty. Recognizing these, the National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, developed the National Long-Term Vision for the Philippines, the Ambition 1940. Ambition 1940 represents the collective aspirations of the Filipino people for themselves and for the country in the next 25 years. It describes the kind of life that people want to live and how the country will be by 2040. How the Ambition 1940 process unfolded was a result of a consolidative process that began in 2015. An advisory committee composed of representatives from the government, private sector, the academe, and civil society guided the overall implementation of the visioning exercise. More than 300 citizens participated in focus group discussions and close to 10,000 answered the national survey. Technical studies were also prepared to identify strategic options for realizing the vision articulated by the Filipinos. In October 2016, President Rodrigo Duterte ratified Executive Order No. 5 to adopt the Ambition Natin 2040. By 2040, the Philippines shall be a prosperous, predominantly middle-class society where no one is poor. Our peoples will enjoy long and healthy lives, are smart and innovative, and will live in a high-trust society. Towards this end, the Philippine development plans to be crafted and implemented until 2040 shall be anchored on this vision. This will ensure the sustainability and consistency of strategies, policies, programs, and projects across political administrations. Currently, NEDA is coordinating the formulation of the new Philippine development plan for 2017 to 2022. The proposed framework for which is anchored on the country's vision and will translate President Duterte's 0 plus 10 socio-economic agenda. For each economic sector, it is about expanding economic opportunities and then increasing access to these opportunities, particularly of subsectors and economic groups that you select behind. Growth will be supported by putting in place a strategic trade and fiscal policy as well as an efficient and equitable tax system to include a fiscal incentive system. Macroeconomic stability will also be maintained. For individuals and people groups, this is about reducing vulnerability and improving human capital. Moreover, there will also be a balanced and strategic development of infrastructure while ensuring that there is ecological integrity. Public institutions will be clean, efficient, and citizen-centered. Fiscal prudence will be observed. Macroeconomic stability will be maintained. Administration of justice will be swift and fair. There will be earnest efforts to secure lasting peace through the resumption of peace talks and pursuing economic justice. Public order and safety will be ensured. Culture and values will be promoted. These actions will take into account international commitments like the UN Sustainable Development Goals, which will require strong ownership and buy-in by stakeholders and the country's leaders over the next 25 years, as each of these plans must build on its predecessors. Momentum should be sustained under changing conditions, requiring adjustments and flexibility in strategies. Let's work together and partner for a country's development so that in 2040, we will all enjoy a stable and comfortable lifestyle, secure in the knowledge that we have enough for our daily needs and unexpected expenses, that we can plan and prepare for our own and our children's future. Our family lives together in a place of our own and we have the freedom to go where we desire, protected and enabled by a clean, efficient and fair government.